Welcome to the fascinating world of ancient Egyptian mythology. Today, we'll dive deep into the lives, roles, and narratives of the most prominent gods and goddesses in ancient Egypt. The first god called Amun, initially the god of creation and fertility, rose to prominence as he became associated with the sun god, who is called Ra, to form the combined deity Amun-Ra. Known as the hidden force behind all things, Amun was often represented with a ram's head or a headdress featuring tall plume. Ra, the sun god, was one of the most significant deities in ancient Egypt. His daily journey across the sky symbolized the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Often depicted as a falcon or with a falcon's head, Ra was believed to be the father of the gods and the creator of humanity. Osiris, god of the afterlife, death, and resurrection, played a central role in ancient Egyptian beliefs. Ruling the underworld and judging the dead, Osiris was often depicted as a mummy or a green-skinned man with a feathered crown. Isis, the goddess of fertility, motherhood, and magic, was the wife of Osiris and mother of Horus. Through her magical abilities, she revived Osiris after his death. Often shown with a throne-shaped headdress, Isis represented the ideal wife, mother, and protector of the dead. Horus, the god of the sky, war, and hunting, was the son of Osiris and Isis. Depicted as a falcon or with a falcon's head, he embodied the divine kingship of the pharaoh. Horus sought vengeance for his father's death by battling his uncle Seth, ultimately establishing his role as the rightful ruler. Seth, the god of chaos, storms, and violence, embodied disorder and disruption. As the brother of Osiris and Isis, he played a pivotal role in their myth as the antagonist, murdering his brother Osiris and waging a fierce battle with his nephew Horus. Anubis, the god of mummification and the afterlife, guided the dead through the underworld. Often depicted with a jackal's head, Anubis was a key figure in the judgment of the dead, overseeing the weighing of the heart ceremony. Hathor, the goddess of love, beauty, music, and fertility, was widely worshipped throughout Egypt. Often depicted as a cow or with a cow's head, Hathor was considered the mother of the pharaohs and was associated with joy, celebration, and artistic expression. Thoth, the god of writing, wisdom, and knowledge, was attributed with the invention of hieroglyphs and the creation of the calendar. Often depicted with the head of an ibis, Thoth maintained cosmic order and acted as the scribe and record keeper of the god. He also played a crucial role in the judgment of the dead recording the outcome of the weighing of the heart ceremony. Sobek, the god of crocodiles, water, and fertility, was worshipped as a protector against the dangers of the Nile, including crocodile attacks. Often depicted with a crocodile's head, Sobek was associated with both healing and destructive powers, reflecting the dual nature of the Nile as a source of both life and danger. Bastet, the goddess of cats, protection, and joy, was often depicted as a lioness or a cat. Cats were considered sacred in ancient Egypt, and Bastet was worshipped as a protector of the home and a guardian against evil spirits. She was also associated with music, dance, and pleasure, and her festivals were occasions for joy and celebration. Sekhmet, the goddess of war, fire, and healing, was a powerful and feared deity. Often depicted as a lioness, she was believed to unleash devastating plagues upon humanity at Ra's command. However, Sekhmet also had a gentler side and was associated with healing, often invoked to protect against illness and disease. Ta, the god of craftsmanship, creation, and architecture, was associated with the city of Memphis and its great temple. He was believed to have created the world through his thoughts and words and was considered the patron of artists, architects, and craftsmen. Ta was often depicted as a mummy with his hands emerging from the wrappings to hold a scepter. Nephthys, the goddess of death, mourning, and protection, was the sister of Isis, Osiris, and Seth, as well as Seth's wife. She played a key role in the myth of Osiris, assisting Isis in reassembling his body after Seth dismembered it. Nephthys also protected the dead and provided support to them during their journey to the afterlife. Geb, the god of the earth and fertility was the father of Osiris, Isis, Seth, and Nephthys. As the earth god, Geb was often depicted lying on the ground, 
with his wife Nut, the sky goddess, arching over him. Geb was believed to cause earthquakes when he laughed and was associated with the fertility of the land. Nut, the goddess of the sky and the cosmos, was the mother of Osiris, Isis, Seth, and Nephthys. She was often depicted as a woman arching over her husband forming the sky. Nut played a crucial role in ancient Egyptian beliefs about the afterlife, as she was believed to swallow the sun each evening and give birth to it anew each morning. Maat, the goddess of truth, justice, and cosmic order, was the embodiment of balance and harmony. Ancient Egyptians believed that maids' principles maintained the stability of the universe and society. Often depicted with an ostrich feather atop her head, Mayat played a critical role in the judgment of the dead, as their hearts were weighed against her feather to determine their fate in the afterlife. Happy, the god of the Nile and fertility, was revered as the spirit of the Nile River. He was responsible for the annual inundation, which brought fertile silt and water to the land, ensuring abundance and fertility. Happy was honored in ceremonies that celebrated the Nile's life-sustaining gifts to the people of Egypt. Tower A, the goddess of childbirth and protection, was often depicted as a pregnant hippopotamus with the limbs of a lion and the tail of a crocodile. She was worshipped by expectant mothers and was believed to protect women during childbirth and infants from harm. Tower A was also associated with the protection of households from malevolent forces. Knum, the god of creation and the waters of the Nile, was often depicted with a ram's head. He was believed to create human beings from clay on his potter's wheel and to control the annual inundation of the Nile, which brought fertility to the land. Shnum was also associated with the source of the Nile River and was worshipped in temples dedicated to him near the river's origin. The gods and goddesses of ancient Egypt held profound significance for the people who worshipped them. Through their myths, rituals, and intricate relationships with one another, these deities shaped the religious beliefs, cultural practices, and artistic expressions of ancient Egypt.